Sinead, tell me about where you're from and what your favourite county in Ireland is. I'm from Kildare. My favourite county is Kildare. Okay, that's yeah. all we need actually from cool. you today. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go home then. <laughs> I'm so excited you're playing Kildare Comeback Festival. Um, I've long wanted to, there to be a focus on Kildare and all things um, that come from it. But I would love to be able to play more in Kildare, but there's just not really as many opportunities, sure there's not. No, there used to be a little bit more of a scene, but I can't seem to find it now these days. Yeah, because I think we both, like I, I would prefer to not have to go to the cities all the time. And I would actually also love to spend more time in the Cliff Alliance here. Me too. It's wonderful. It smells wonderful. There's a lot of dogs here in jumpers, which I yeah. love. Do you? No, I think it's cruel. <laughs> I think it's weird. Yeah. Dogs have fur and hair and stuff to keep them warm. I do think it makes sense for a whippet or like a small dog because I guess they get colder than other dogs. They don't. Cool. So um, tell me about your set today. Tell me about what we're going to be hearing. Okay, so this is kind of like an amalgamation of uh, some songs that I've been doing over the last while, but um, I'm going to play a couple of songs from this new EP that I'm actually going to release. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I am going to do it, um, and that's going to be next year. And then I'm going to do a couple of those acoustically, and then that'll be it. I'll be on my merry way. That feels like um, the course of our meetings all the time, is the two of us just going, no, no, no I'm definitely going to release that. Yeah, it's hard though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you're going to do it. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will, but it's just, there's so much to it. It's the writing of the songs, that's the fun bit, but then actually forcing yourself to like have a business head and, and do that. There's so much, it's a, it's a roller coaster of emotion, so. I always, I was kind of raised to believe the writing part would be the difficult bit. Mm. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> and you've had, the last couple of years have been tough for everyone, been tough on musicians, been tough on so many people. But you've had a couple of really wonderful bright sparks in it. So yeah. tell me about this amazing super group of legends that you've been playing with lately. So last year my friend Dahi asked me did I want to play piano for like a one-time gig for this new hip band called the Houselands. And I said, oh my god, yes. And it just so happened that Paul Noonan was in it um, and Alex Ridley and Glenn uh, Keating. And we did it uh, this one time and then it was so cool that we did it many times. So we did a tour um, and that was great and then since that I've been doing a bit of session work with other musicians and it's just been really really fun. Yeah and I think I I don't think I'm wrong in saying that like there's been loads of collaborations happening in the past couple of years kind of out of desperation and necessity and us wanting to do things but that wouldn't have come up I don't think otherwise. No and also um, our friend Elaine May was, was uh, working on her album for the last year and so we did stuff with her and it was just uh, almost like we had that tiny bit of a breather well I know some people didn't but I, I unfortunately had a little one and then was <laughs> able to focus on yeah just doing some nice tunes without focusing on an outcome just yeah and that's what what I've been enjoying. Yeah, that's so true actually. Yeah, there has there's been less pressure because no one was allowed to do anything. So yeah. we were just doing it and being able to focus on the art itself. Yes. Um, well, I think you're amazing. I'm really glad you're here. And I noticed that you smiled when you said the word amalgamation. Do you think I was going to slag you for saying the word amalgamation? I saw your eyebrow twitch a little bit. I thought you were <laughs> impressed with me. And then I was, I I was, was. impressed with me okay. as a result. Yeah, I'm always impressed with you. Thanks. Um, thank you for being here. I can't wait to see you play. Okay. <laughs> See you okay. Later. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Kildare Comeback Festival. We're here at the Cliff at Lyons, the most divisive location in the history of all of County Kildare because a lot of people say it's in Selbridge, but they're wrong. Um, so, welcome to Ard Clock, um, the greatest village maybe in the country, if not the world. Um, I'm really, really proud to be part of this show. It's been an absolutely gorgeous week. In a pretty bleak year, um, I'm actually really not looking forward to it being over. I've had such a great time. Um, we've all been looked after so well. I know the artists are all really, really amazed by how great the crew are here. So the reason I have my phone out is I'm going to start thanking people and I don't want to forget anybody because that would be an awful um, way to do this. So huge thanks from me to Davis Events, to Paul, Laura and Ben there for taking such good care of me and of everybody and putting on such an amazing show, really, really incredibly professional and warm um, from them. So I'm so happy to be working with them again. Thank you so much to Tony and Dan, the men with the local knowledge. Um, Greg, uh, the main man behind, I suppose, the visual of everything and his amazing team throughout the week with Guy, Peter and David. Thank you so much to all of them. The beautiful men of Mert Wheel and Sound, Rob, Mikey and Owen. Um, Rob's the man, if, if things sound good, um, it was Rob. If they sound bad, it wasn't Rob, 
okay? Um, if things were lit up well, it was Mikey or Owen, and if they weren't, it wasn't Mikey or Owen. Um, and also, snapping away all week, making us all look lovely for the most part, has been wonderful Ashling, who is so generous with her time and goes above and beyond what's asked of her. And also, thank you so much to Paul as well for stepping in um, on the shots as well during the week. Not Paul Davis, different Paul. So thank you to Paul too for um, all your work. I also want to say a huge thanks to people in Kildare County Council and the Department of Culture as well for helping us to put on these events and making them possible. Um, and I mean, just the quality that's been able to happen with these shows is beyond all of our wildest dreams. So thank you so sincerely to everyone involved in making that happen. Next up, a woman I've been so lucky to come across a few times this year um, for different reasons, and it's been such a lovely um, experience each time. The first five minutes usually entail us slagging each other almost mercilessly sometimes, but then it turns to a loving affection. So I'm really, really proud to have her here on this show, one of my favourite artists in the country, one of the most talented people I know. Uh, no pressure. This is Sinead White. Sinead and I'm here I'm um, going to play a couple of songs that first song that I did there I actually I haven't played it live before um, because I wrote this, um, an EP during lockdown and I just didn't have a chance to play it um, and so there it is and I wasn't really sure how to, I don't know anyway that's really boring I'm going to cut myself off and just go into my second song um, which is about um, going out with somebody um and then kind of realizing that they just like absolutely hate you and then you're like oh no because that's not good because we're together and that's bad for you and for me <laughs> anyway okay uh yeah when i'm with you i can't breathe and breathing's the thing that sustains me I tried to write it in a letter 
I thought that that would make it better You said if I changed you could love me I counted all the buttons on the search He tried to make it all better We had a spell of good weather I'm a ghost, I'm a hollow tree You took my pages and you tip me I wanted nothing to do with myself Swept away in the undertow You stood there laughing Wouldn't throw the rope But tried to think of something clever To justify this endeavor And I'm a ghost I'm a hollow tree You ripped my pages And you rewrote me Into a sci-fi thriller Yeah, surprise, I'm a killer standards to be honest um yeah so this next song i i had a gig a, uh, uh, a while ago um and this man came up to me afterwards and he was like yeah i don't like any of your songs um they're all about relationships <laughs> and like that's really boring or not that but that's like the summary of it and i was like all oh, right well that's fine um so this is a song it's not about a relationship well it kind of is because like everything is about a relationship really in a sense um, but this is about uh, just being really poor like back in the day I um, well not that I'm not really poor but I'm definitely fine now but being kind of like having no money and then just like yeah that's that's what it's about <laughs>
now during these times without a little covid song um so this is kind of my covid um sorry if i'm doing that so loud into the microphone um that's not nice yeah so so um covid came and then i was at home and um i can hear people laughing and i'm trying to be sincere um, I was at home and I, like most people, and I wasn't really sure what to do. And sometimes um, um, when you are a creative person, you kind of hope that you're able to like turn, you know, stuff that you're confused about into something. And most of the time it doesn't really work. Um, but this was just a song that I wrote, I guess, at the start when everyone was uncertain. And I was, I, I guess, yeah, it's kind of cool in the sense that like it captures that for me. Like you might all be like, that doesn't capture it at all. But for me personally, um, that's what it's all about. So this is called The World Stops Spinning. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure this is in tune and then I'm gonna play it right now. Oh 
to the piano now um, in the most graceful way that I can. Um, so hopefully that works out. Uh, just one second. Do, 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 do. Quiet. And I think I managed to pull it off quite successfully. So here I am. Um, yeah, so this next song, um, um, I'm actually going to play two songs now and they kind of lead into each other. I had a... a this isn't a fun thing, but I had like a kind of a, a bit of a, a sad like time during the year when I, I, it wasn't even sad actually, I just was a little bit like disconnected from uh, the world and myself and I was writing a lot during that time, which was really um, helpful for me actually. And so these two songs, um, they're kind of the same chords, I guess, um, and they, they lead into each other and they explain, I guess, the first one is kind of the the reason I was sad, I guess, and then the second one was um, um, the, the feeling of sadness. So that really sounds dreadful, and uh, I hope it's not as bleak as I just described, but you never know. Just 
So I kind of introduced those two songs um, completely wrong. Like when I was playing that song there, I was like, that's not what happened at all. Why did you even say that? So I just feel like I need to clear up. Um, it, it, I guess these songs are related in the sense that um, they were written around the same time. And it was also kind of, uh, m yeah, me kind of um, um, coming to terms with just feeling really numb and, and nothing. And at the time, I just used to get up, like, so people tell you when you're feeling uh, really depressed that you should get up in the morning and, like, at, like, six o'clock or something and go and just walk around and, like, look at the sun and drink lemon water and, like, make your bed and keep a journal. And it was so much, and like, so many things. I just was like, Jesus Christ, this is making me feel worse. Um... So this is kind of a, um, this next song is kind of about that time and just like, I suppose, me trying to find the sense of humour in it. And I used to go to the park every morning and just kind of like see all the elderly people and be like, hi, like kind of hoping that would make me feel better. And actually it, it really did. Um, so that's about this. So I hope that doesn't bring anybody uh, down, obviously, but it's just, ah, it's just the way it is sometimes. This world makes my head hurt Makes living worse Makes my feelings feel like Watermelons falling Oh, when will I know How to get off This train of thought Without flinging myself out of the carriage Nobody told me how to live Nobody told me it would be like this This life cuts like a knife You think you're alright Then something arises and knocks the shit out of you Then you're broken and bent A human pretzel in bed you can't get to the door Cause you're afraid of what they're here for Nobody told me how to live Nobody told me it would hurt like this But I've made up my mind I'm gonna be jolly for a while Yeah, I've change I'm gonna make my bed every day this dread seeps from my head it's heavy as lead it got on my bread and now that's all soggy and I walk around this town smiling at old people Hoping that they can save me from the misery of being Nobody told me how to be Nobody told me how I would never be happy Nobody told me the truth Nobody told me that life is a mirror Reflecting your thoughts clear back at you At you
Thank you. Um, I'm back here, yeah. Um, so that song is kind of a bit weird and sad, and I guess I have a tendency um, when um, I expose a weird and sad version of myself that I feel like I need to recover and be kind of uh, happy again, which is probably not great, actually. Um, but I, I, I don't know, it's just one of the things. I think we all do it to a certain extent. So I'm just going to end on this um, cover um, during lockdown, some of my, um, in the last couple of years, some of my friends were feeling a bit sad, so I would record this on a voicer and send it to them, like against their will. Um, so I'm not even sure if they really enjoyed it. Um, I got a few thumbs up back, which is um, the most passive aggressive of emojis. Just, just so you know. I think that's in you. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. This has been my set, and um, thank you so much for everyone for having me. Um, yeah, this is um, a song, not mine, a cover. When you're down and troubled and you need a helping hand and nothing I would be absolutely incapacitated if you sent me. Um, I'd be absolutely incapacitated if you sent me a voice note start, of you. Start again, I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sinead. Um, Sinead White, everybody. I know you're watching KildareCulture.com. You are incredibly impressive and wonderful, and I'm so glad you're part of this show. I hate that I'm standing saying this to you like this, but I mean every <laughs> word. I'm not offended that you haven't sent me that voice note, by the way. Yeah. Just maybe you might think about sending it to me. 
maybe yeah. now you've got an opportunity to remember might, you haven't sent it to me. I might think about it, I guess. You might think of it. <laughs> it's many, many layers away from me actually getting sent this voice note. Thank you all so much for watching. The amazing Sinead White, everybody. I hope you're all safe and well wherever you are. Good night. <laughs>